Hey guys, it's Max and Pickle and Sprout, and as you can see, they're a little bit more active today than normal. Usually Pickle is in the bed sleeping, and now he's kind of doing whatever he's doing with Sprout. So we'll see how this goes, um, see if there's a little disaster happening behind me or not. But for now, I'm going to share with you five tips that will hopefully be super helpful. So these are five things that I think you really, really need to do and get as soon as you get a mini pig and bring him or her home. Um, so these are products that I have found super beneficial and useful or just things around the house that are beneficial or useful that I didn't even buy. Um, so hopefully this video will help and I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I don't have a relationship with any of them. There is one product that I'll talk about where I do happen to know the owner, but um, I'm not getting paid for any of this. It's just stuff that I really um, have found useful and hope you guys will too. So the first thing is, and this is what I just mentioned, harness. So this harness slash leash um, is all in one. And I actually do know the owner of this company. It's called Oink Marketplace for Pigs. So you guys definitely need to check them out. Um, again, I'm not being sponsored or um, I'm not being paid for this in any way other than I just love this company. They have a ton of great things for pigs, um, particularly this harness and leash. So what it is, is you can see it's super simple. So this is where you would hold it. And then this part goes around your pig. So you can change it to any size. It can be super small or it can be a lot bigger. Um, and this goes around their neck and then you just loop it through under their stomach and back through the hole at the top. And it's super easy. So I had a ton of issues when I was trying to get um, Pickle into something when he was younger. He just didn't want to be restrained. He hated it. He hated the idea of having something super tight around him. Even the step-in harnesses were really hard to use. Um, I would have to make sure that he was eating or something like that so I could um, put that on while he was distracted. So, and I know there's, that was even the easiest situation. So I know, know there's other harnesses and leashes that um, are even worse than that just because they restrict pigs so much and they don't have that easy step-in capability. Um, but outside of those things, this is definitely the easiest thing that you could get. Um, so pigs obviously are not going to love being walked unless you get, um, get them used to it. And they're a little bit similar to dogs in that, you know, they will learn how to do that and it's definitely possible, but generally they hate being restrained. So that's why this thing is so helpful because it doesn't really feel like that. It can be as tight or as loose as you want. Um, it doesn't really feel like something that's holding their stomach in too much or anything like that. It's just keeping them in control. Um, you have control and it's keeping their body safe from escape. So this harness, super helpful. Definitely get one. They come in different colors. And like I said, you won't have to buy um, different sizes as your pig grows up. So from three months to six months to three years, you're not going to have to keep increasing and buying um, a new sized harness or a leash because this one is perfect. It can just expand as much as you need. Sprout has one and Pickle has one and they're the same thing, but I, obviously I just tie Sprout's a little um, smaller around the neck and Pickle's is bigger. So number one, definitely check that out. Number two, um, you definitely want to get medicine for your pigs. So talk to your breeder about this, but uh, what I use is this stuff called Doramectin. It's similar to like Ivermectin. Um, I've heard a couple different varieties of it, but basically, um, okay, they might be getting in a fight in a second. <laughs> um, basically, it is medicine that prevents mites and worms, internal, external parasites, things like that. So um, every 28 days, I think it starts at every 14 days, but um, typically that would be more on the breeder's end. Once you actually bring your pig home, it's every 28 days. Um, they get a little bit of this. So it starts out, <laughs> I was being so loud in my ear. Um, it starts out a smaller amount, and then as they get older, they get a larger amount. So um, I think pickle is up to like five teaspoons now, um, and I think sprout is on like one and a half or something like that. So definitely um, make sure that you're on top of their medicine. This is just like it would be for a dog or cat um, where you want to have that monthly worming type medicine, um, just like a heartworm pill for a dog or things like that. I know some people do shots or have their vet do shots, but this is really easy. It's just medicine that they I put into um, a dropper and or syringe and put it right uh, into their mouth directly, and it's typically not an issue. Sprout is real nosy in my head right now. So 
Yeah, I think you do it. Um, it's better if you do it when they don't have food on their stomach. Um, typically, you don't want to mix it with food. It's, it goes down a little better and is better for them when it's not mixed in with other stuff. Um, so I would say if you can do it without food and just put it directly in the syringe and give it to them that way, I think it's supposed to work a little bit better. Um, so make sure you're on top of your medicine uh, so your pig stays healthy and doesn't have any issues with worms or things like that. So that's number two. Number three is litter. So I'm not being promoted by this brand, but I really like it. Um, it's all natural pine, um, this original feline pine from Arm & Hammer. So yeah, this is what the bag looks like. And this is a 20 pound bag. And right now I'm getting it from Petco online for like $7.99 or something, but I signed up for the every month shipment. So it's free shipping. And I got a discount because I signed up um, for them to just automatically ship it every single month. So it's like seven something and it's super affordable. If you were to go into a store, it's at least $10 or more. Now Pickle's sniffing my head. Um, so yes, definitely for their litter box, even though you may have an outside pig or a pig that does go to the bathroom outside, especially when they're young or if you're not at home during the day, you want to have that litter box for them where they can use the restroom. And um, that sounded really formal saying restroom. So anyway, that litter I found to be the best. Um, they really don't seem to mind it. It's um, it's the non-clumping type. So it just seems to work really, really well for pigs. And I've had a good experience with it other than um, it does get a little bit messy at sometimes if they are rooting into their litter box, it might go around on the floor. I've mentioned that in another video, but um, this, I really like that brand and haven't had any issues. So I would recommend getting that or something similar to that. The next thing is a light. So actually it's not just light, it's a heat lamp. Um, hi Pickle, he was pushing at my head. So 150 watts for this lamp. Um, I guess it's used for lizards or other things like that. But, um, and then I also have this attachment where the bulb goes in and then it just, um, with this little clip you can put it onto like a um, shelf or wall or uh, windowsill or something like that wherever it will easily attach to and yeah you just put it in there and put it on um, when your pig is really small and it helps keep them warm so that's a huge thing to and this is what the bulb looks like um, that's a huge thing to consider is when you bring a pig home it has got to stay warm there's so many many pigs that die because um, they get too cold, their body temperatures are different than ours, so even though their insides are super similar to ours compared to other animals, um, you know, pigs are a lot more similar to humans than, than many other animals, but um, in terms of keeping them warm, their body temperature is so different that they have to stay warm. Even if you're warm, they might not be warm, they might be cold, so when they're young, they have to stay under those heat lamps. Um, especially during the night if you're sleeping make sure they're staying under that heat lamp um, Now that sprout is like over six months. I don't have him on it anymore I'm not sure about other pig owners how long they keep them under the heat lamps, but They have a ton of blankets during the day and they love burrowing and those so they haven't had any issues that I know of um, with getting too cold now, but definitely it's a huge issue when they're younger um, especially if they go outside some there's been some horror stories with pigs out in the cold and even if they stay inside um, you know they just really need to be kept warm so blankets and definitely a heat lamp when they're growing up um, I would say at least until six months or so so that was number four and then number five is simply a fork so I mentioned that not all of these were actual products that you would buy it might be something that's just laying around your house so yes a fork um, I don't put this back in the drawer they love to just like sniff at my head while I'm doing these videos. So I mentioned it might be something that you have just lying around your house and this is that. Um, I don't use these again. I don't like fork the pigs and then put it back in the drawer and eat off of it. This is their one fork that they have. Um, Sprout has a little brush too, but these are so beneficial. So if you want to just calm your pig down, or if you want to just give them, a, <laughs> I was going to say a nice relaxing night, that sounds weird, but if you want to get them to relax, then uh, a fork. So just rub this along their stomach and usually they'll fall over or they'll at least stand super still. 
Um, usually their mohawk will go up on their head and um, around their neck, and that means, if it doesn't mean they're scared or defensive, which that could mean, um, when you're doing this and their mohawk goes up, typically that means they're really calm and happy and they'll fall over uh, because it feels so good. So Sprout doesn't really do it that much. So, and his mohawk is so small. Um, so you can see it's sticking up a little bit right here, but he's just gotten really still because this feels really good. Um, so you sort of just rub it around on their stomach or like this. Not too hard, but not too soft. Um, they have really hard skin, so it feels really good to just relax them and do this. You can see he's staying very calm. And Pickle, he's like already going to sleep, so he... <laughs> Let me see if I can get him to react to the fork a little bit. Do you want the fork pickle? So usually we do this on the ground, but he might still fall over here. Yep, there he goes. He loves it, so um, hopefully Sprout wasn't blocking that too much. But yeah, you can see Pickle just sort of dropped down because this is super comfortable for him. And Sprout hasn't even really moved from the location where he was, so they really like this. Good boy. And you, obviously you can use your fingers too, but there's something about the fork that's magic to them. And looking at this, Sprout probably was blocking a pickle that entire time, but you can see he was just falling over and then he bounced back up. So, um, Pickle, do you want this? Come here. Let's see if I can get him to do it again. Sprout, go over there so they can see. <laughs> see, he loves that. Maybe you could see it a little better that time. So yeah, that is the last of the five things I wanted to mention today. So hopefully this was helpful. There's a ton more stuff that you can get for pigs toys and all sorts of things, but these were five that I picked out that I thought were super important. So hopefully this helped you. If you guys have any questions, just DM on Instagram at pickle the pig with dots in between. So at pickle dot the dot pig, or you can put them in the comments here and just let me know if you guys need anything.